Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. But before we move on to this next story, we were having a conversation about yes, we were. Ozo's cringe behavior <laughs> during his eviction. Right? Uh, I, I, I didn't like it. I felt like he did a bit too much with that. Way, way too much. I mean, I mean, yeah, you can pursue someone, but there's a very thin line between pursuing someone and just being a nuisance. And I think he's crossing it. But he's crossing it so cutely that it's kind of like a mind game that you can't really vex for because he's polite about it but it's kind of weird well, and then all these celebrities that are outside saying i want to sound like i want to you know like also i want i feel like, to, to be honest with you personally i feel like that's just because they know that when he comes out of the house they might have interactions with him if this was a, an irrelevant person i don't think we would be this gracious you'd be I, like I guy saw, calm down I, I saw a tweet though in his defense in also defense and i think i kind of agree with it it says um the only reason people are bashing us is because we've thrown away the cult culture of courtship you know the whole way our parents chased each other you know the father will you see i like your that. statement chased yeah. each other okay each other not yeah. one person <laughs> This babe, Enjoying there's too the many most. highlights of this babe begging him. Stop it. I'm not interested. This and this and that. Like, <sighs> she's not. Well, the tears, I don't know. The whole thing's just confusing. Hot tears for us or anyway, but um, we will be having him on Thursday. So I think we'll, it would, we'll yeah. hear from the horse's mouth yeah. what is actually going on in his space. You know, yeah. you know <laughs> in case we can be of help in any way. <laughs> but let's move on to the next story real quick. Um, concerns arise for Mr. West once more as I took to micro blog and site tweet to write nothing i am going to war and putting my life on the line and if i am murdered don't ever let white people tell you i wasn't a good man when people threaten to take you out of my life just know i love you and many fans and wrestlers today have reached out to mr west voicing their concerns with replies like we saw your deleted tweet because he deleted this mm. almost immediately and um, i think this is another um, worrisome tweets. This is not the first time, um, you know, Kanye West has put us on our tippy toes with his um, tweets and his um, reasoning. So I think in this case, I'm just. I, I feel like one thing I'm beginning to see is that he has a really strong bond with um, North. Mm. If you don't know much about him, you think that he has only one child mm. because he keeps talking about North. So that in itself is a bit weird, sort of like, why to your kids? I mean, you have three others. But. Um, I think they're trying to get a human um, intervention, as anyone would. I feel like I don't even care that much about Kanye West. So if I was his family, of course, I'd be trying to figure out how to give him the best help. So I don't think there's, that that is too far to believe. But that his life is on the line, obviously. I, I'm going to blame that well, on mental I think, health. I think I'm going to put it this way. They always say um, politics is a dead game. He's getting involved in politics. He's stepping on a lot of toes, even though he's getting cancelled, even though we know he's not going to win. But there are people that feel like he's working against their... Um, what's it called now? Their manifesto, their strategy. You really think someone's trying to kill? No, Kanye I'm not West. talking. About, Kanye West can be paranoid. We know that he even gets paranoid over stuff that has, that is not as serious as um, election and stuff. But um, we know he is paranoid. But there's no lies. If it was somebody else who came to say this, I think we would be more concerned because um, we know how politics is, especially right. for a black man in a white-dominated country. So I think it's it calls for concern. So I don't think we should just throw this completely away just in case right. something happens but because right. it's a Kanye West I think we're ignoring it a, a bit too yeah. Yeah. yeah and I guess that's the problem with um having bipolar disorder is that your truth is very blurred up with mm. the you know the um hallucinations like we don't know when we're supposed to take you seriously when we're not supposed to take you seriously either ways I feel like this is not for honestly for tea time it's not for me it's definitely for him and his family to try and figure out how to get him the best mm. help I think they have enough um resources both by like people resources and wealth resources to try and give him the best kind of um assistance that he needs uh I, I i don't think he's very willing based on from the tweets that i've seen i don't think he even sees that he has a problem per se but um i still feel like if you get you know like professional help they can do something about it but getting twitter off his hands will, will, would help a lot i think yeah, I believe so too. And, um, you know, we were supposed to talk about Made in Lagos, but before we talk about Made in Lagos, we can, we can talk about during the afternoon show. Trust me, we have something super extraordinary that is made in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And you will see that right after the break. Tea time, we'll be right back. Stay tuned.